gotta try Don Winery's dandelion. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> You're really here! Come on, take a seat and join our delightful conversation. <laughs> wow, Traveler, palm on! Speak of the devil, we were literally just talking about you. <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuma, Shinyan, what are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the Tone Deaf Bard? Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well-known singer, fella. Though well, sadly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. <gasps> this is a rare opportunity indeed! Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society, or something like that. Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship, and she put me in charge of the music. That's where I met Kazuha. Although Shinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, you can say that again. In Kazuha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Oh, yeah! We know the one! Our friend owns that place! Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, guess so. <laughs> Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice! Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again. How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt, where they befriend the children there. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. 
but the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. There was no trial, by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, along with this message. Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. Interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry, if you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. Hmm. This one. I like the color. Oh no! Kazuha! Uh-oh, this fella's drunk. But, uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? <laughs> more, 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 <laughs> more, more, please. <laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. <sighs> Seriously? Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? Oh yeah! That's a good point! We didn't come here to drink! Kazuha? Kazuha! Oh, he just won't wake up! <laughs> Looks like we're staying in the tavern tonight! <laughs> I need to learn to handle my booze better. Kazuha? Friend. Hmm, look where we are. Yup, I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, she's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Hmm, Master Jean or Lisa? A mother and daughter both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Alice and Klee? Ding, ding, ding! Correct answer! The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. the fuse, so don't worry, it's not going to explode. Come on, take it! This way we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. <laughs> 